In this video, I will demonstrate how to add and control field equipment connected to an IC out device from the Rainbird Central Control software. The field equipment in this demonstration is a greens fan that has been connected to an IC out via a DC latching relay. General purpose station control, as used in this case, could be used to control irrigation valves, landscape lighting, water features, or other scheduled and manually operated electrical devices. Step one is to verify the version of central control software that you have installed. Rainbird central control software version 8.1 or higher is required to use IC Connect devices. To check the central control version, open the software and click on the Rainbird icon inside the front office. If the software version displayed is lower than 8.1, please contact your Rainbird distributor for options to acquire the latest software. Rainbird distributors and or Rainbird GSP can assist with software updates. As you can see, in this case, the version is 8.1.0, so we can proceed with the configuration. Step two is to add field equipment to central control software. General purpose electrical outputs are configured identically to an irrigation station. Rainbird recommends excluding electrical stations from the hydraulic flow tree so that electrical stations are not included in flow management. Select system settings. Verify that the system settings dialog box shows at least one configured IC interface. If no ICI is configured, refer to the IC system installation instructions to complete this step. In this demonstration, we will be using the ICI defined as field box 5. Select station detail. In the station detail window, select the course, hole and area used for general purpose electrical devices in your system. In this demonstration, we will use the miscellaneous area on course 2, hole 2. Create a new station in the selected area by clicking the plus toolbar button. Select the field box the IC wire path where the IC out is connected and enter the IC out address noted from the barcode label. Enter a default runtime for the station. In this case, I entered 60 minutes. It is also a good practice to add a comment in the station notes indicating what equipment the station is intending to activate. Close the station detail window after adding the IC out device to establish a fast connect address with the IC out device and prepare for operation. This step matches adding a new ICM station to the system. Once the station connection is completed, the new general purpose station can be used in a program or in manual operations by referring to its identifier. In this demonstration, that is course 2, 2M1. To show you that the station does indeed turn on and off, I will open up course monitor 
navigate to course 2 and look for miscellaneous 1. Click on M1, increase the time to run to 1 minute and click on OK. You can hear the fan turn on. To switch off, simply cancel station. And the IC out turns off the AC powered fan. For this demonstration, I am activating an AC powered desk fan located close to me. That is why you can hear it turn on and off. In the field, you should use other means to verify operation of equipment. The IC out configuration for general purpose electrical equipment is now complete. Rainbird Central Control is now able to turn the greens fan or on or off according to either scheduled programs or manually from the Central, Freedom, or MI. Do remember, Rainbird Central Control limits station runtime to a maximum of 499 minutes, which is slightly more than 8 hours. For a regular irrigation valve or sprinkler, station runtime will never approach that limit. However, if you have external field equipment connected via IC out and you want to run them for longer durations via central control, it could be an issue. For example, your club might have a water feature that needs to run non-stop during open hours, about 15 hours every day. Please watch Rainbird video on running an IC station for more than 499 minutes to see how that can be accomplished. Thank you for watching.